guys um welcome to our newly made channel mvpe today we are going to be posting our first video i hope you guys like it and let's get right into it okay so before we get started i just want to let you all know that this video is about five redstone doors and trolls i think three or four of them are trolls and just one door so this can basically be made a troll video anyway on to our first troll it is called the pressure plate troll oh just to get let you guys know my version of minecraft is pocket edition it might not be the same as yours so that's okay most of these traps should work so let's just say you're wandering around and now you found this room and you see that chest at the end you think hmm, maybe there's some diamonds in there but even if there's not maybe there's something good that come out of it let's go check it out and then you burn to your death. So, do you guys want to learn how to make this? I'm sure you do. So let's get right into it. No, oh, is it whole now? <laughs> Alrighty, on to the tutorial. So what you're going to need is, I like to use a 2x2, two two, I think it's a 2x2x2 two by two by two or 2x2x3 two two building. You can make it as long as you like. It just means the longer you make it, the more pistons you're going to have to use. So then what you do is you're going to put lava, you can see there at the bottom, lava at the bottom. And then you're going to need to place pistons just like this with stone or whatever blocks you're going to be using um, in front of it. So now that we've got the pistons placed, we are going to be needing the pressure plate. So let's dig here, these two blocks out, put redstone underneath it, then whatever block you're going to use, and then... pressure plates Whoop. there we go okay but now when we stand on that it's only gonna let our pistons be activated but we want our pistons to be activated all the time until someone stands on there so what we're gonna do for that is we're gonna place a block there with the redstone torch and a block onto the redstone torch and as you see that piston will open then what you do is you put redstone all over these pistons and you should see all of them should be turned on now we are going to do that, be doing that on the same on the same side. So what we're gonna do. Okay, sorry guys, my other side, sorry guys, this is my first time commentating. Hopefully I'll get better as we get farther into videos. Anyway, so we're gonna put a block there by the redstone. Redstone to oops. <laughs> a redstone torch on that stone block. Stone block on that piston. I'm a torch. <laughs> and then not redstone torches. Aye, aye, aye. We are going to put redstone to activate all the pistons. And if we look here on the side, everything should be safe. And if, as you can see here, as soon as we walk onto the pressure plates, the pistons will open and then close. Alrighty, so now all we need to do is cover all the redstone. Now onto the other side. So you should have something like this when you are done. Now onto our next troll. This troll is called. So this one is typically the same as the other one, except for this one, we use trip wires and string. Sorry guys, I'm, in, I'm flying. But anyway, there you can see how it's activated. Now, onto the tutorial. You guys already know how to do the pistons and everything. But now, instead of the pressure plates, what we are going to do is we're going to break a block here. And here, and place a block behind that. Then what we're going to do is we're going to quickly go grab ourselves some tripwire hooks and some string. We're going to put a tripwire hook there, some string. And we're going to place a block that side with a tripwire hook. Now, for those of you who don't know, 
when you walk over a trupa hook and spring, it sends out a redstone input. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a torch, whoops, this side of the block, not there. And that redstone torch is going to be leading out a redstone signal. There we go, and all those pistons are activated. And as you guys know, we'll do exactly the same on the other side. Whoops. And now all those other pistons are activated. And as you can see, as soon as we walk over here, it will open up and close. So now all we need to do is cover it up. Now we'll be doing the same thing on the other side. And then you're done. Now on to our next troll. Oh, wrong way. <laughs> this one can get a bit messy. So basically how this one works is, most of you guys should know, that when you put a lever or a pressure plate or a button next to a door, it should open. So now you can do this next to your neighbor's house if you really want to get them messed up and crazy. You can... So wait, something's wrong. Why isn't my door opening? And then they have a little surprise under their doorstep. So now, on to how to make this. What you're going to need is a wall or your neighbor's house, an iron door... And a lever or button. It really doesn't matter. So now, most of you guys know, or like I already said earlier, it flicks the door open. But now we've got to prevent that from happening. So what we're going to do, is we're going to dig, not right under the door, uh, oops, but just a block underneath it, and you'll see that will open the door. But we've got a little problem. We don't want it to be like this. So what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to destroy the iron door and come to it at like a side angle like I am and then place it. Okay. And then you should see that it won't open. That it won't open. Okay, now we got to go right to the back here and place a block because as you guys know the lever's here. It's just on the other side. So we're going to need to place a block there. And as you'll see, we're going to run a redstone out, some redstone from where the lever is going to power it. And what we're going to do is we're going to go right under here to the redstone. And we're going to carry on leading it. Okay, guys, just to warn you here, remember that, wait, I'm destroying the wrong blocks that the redstone torch will lead out a redstone output. Uh, as you guys can see there. So, we don't want that. So, guys, just be careful not to place anything close there, because even if we place a block there, it'll still power. So, just be careful there. So, what I did is I placed the TNT right here. And then I covered it up. And what I did is I ran the redstone into the, not in there to that block over there, because then that will activate the redstone boot, and our TNT is going to well explode. So all we need to do now is cover it up. Make sure not to to break any of the redstone, and you should be set. So now, when your neighbor comes home, he should be in for a surprise. Man, I still don't like that one because it's so messy. Okay. Anyways, on to the next one. This one is called... Okay, this is a piston door. Like I said, there's a few doors and there's a few trolls. So this is going to be a piston door. So how this works is you can put a lever or hide a lever anywhere. 
flick the lever and it opens you can quickly go and this can lead into a secret base and then you can quickly do your business and when you come out click the lever and it's closed the nice thing about this is you can put this in like a cage system or wherever your mine is and people it's going to be really hard to find so now onto the redstone piston tutorial what you're going to need is a about a 2x2x2 two by two by two player um, doorway or path you can even make it one by one if you like and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna place we just quickly grab our pistons and let's grab some repeaters as well anyway so we're gonna place our pistons like this and like this and you're gonna use whatever block you're using excuse me and as you guys can see when the pistons are going to be cowed they're going to close that in now what we're going to need is we're going to put a block there and a block there with some redstone running from both of them and then what you could also do is make this one block higher to, to let to make the redstone run from There we go. And that is set. Now all you gotta do is find a nice place to put our lever. And oh no, what happened there guys? Let's just have a quick look. Oh you guys don't make the mistake to put the redstone there. Oh no, oh no 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 no. Okay. Well oops. <laughs> anyway. Let's just continue from there. Okay, as you guys said, we're going to place the pistons. Oh, great. The thing was destroyed. Place our blocks. Cover up any holes from ex to accidentally blowing up any TNT. And then make this one block higher. And like I said, you don't want to make the mistake to put the redstone right over there. Or there, because when the block pushes it, that redstone is going to get destroyed, and the redstone signal is going to be cut, and we don't want that to happen. So now all we got to do is connect all the redstone and find a nice place to put our lever. When we flick it, it should open. Uh, sorry, guys, and that's why you shouldn't forget anywhere to put the redstone. And as you guys can see, you guys have a working piston door. Then all you need to do is make it look natural and realistic. Make sure no one can find your lever. I don't know guys what I'm doing, but you guys get the idea of what you're meant to do. And yeah, that's typically it. Then you just come to the back there, and boom, there we go. Alright, on to our final door of the day. Okay, you guys. Most of you know that you can just put a pressure plate into it from a door and it'll open. But most of you have probably been wondering, how do I step on one pressure plate so that and then let both of the doors open? Well, this is what this redstone tutorial is. So basically, look, I can just step on the one and both of them will open. I can do it from the other side as well. So what we're going to need... There's two iron doors, because obviously if you use any type of other door, you can just open it without a pressure plate. Now, what we are going to do, is we're going to need to place a repeater right here, and on the other side as well. And what this does is it powers this block, and then powers the, the doors, obviously. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm trying to make this as simple as possible for those who are just beginners. And I hope this written tutorial really helps you. I'm doing my best here. Yeah? Okay, anyway, then what we're going to want to do is place redstone right underneath them. And oh, you guys, you might sickle here. Yeah? What you're going to have to do is try figure out a way to get a redstone pulse into the repeater. Just like so. And then we can do the other side as well. Alright. 
And as you can see now, even if we just step on one, they'll both open or close. And now all we need to do is the other side is obviously grab our pressure plates, <laughs> put them wherever you like, and then obviously all you need to do is connect the redstone like we did on the other side. put it right underneath there and then you just need to connect it to the redstone repeater and there we go and it should work on this side too so now all we need to do is cover this up and what this helps with is let's say you have your wall here you can place it right on top here and no one will suspect nothing a nice perk. And then we just need to cover the other side. <laughs> you guys can decorate it however you like, it's your house. I'm just showing you guys what you must and must not do that's all I'm giving you guys an example and there we go you have got yourself watching hope you hope this video helped you guys and yeah see you later